What's up noobs? Since I started working on my new game, I wondered how should I make a tree in Blender and import it into Unity, but preserving the leaf texture and leaf alpha and apply a beautiful gradient. I looked around the internet and found a way where you will have to create your custom shader in Unity. But I don't want to do that. So I decided to make a shader in Blender. Cause I thought working on a shader in Unity is quite a bit heavy for low end computers. So I think it's gonna help my game to optimize a little bit. It's not a lot of optimization but it'll help. Today I'm gonna show you how I made a simple low poly stylized tree very easily. So let's get into it. Here we have Blender open. Just delete every default object. I assume you are comfortable using Blender and at least familiar with the tools. So before starting out, we're gonna need some essential things to do. I'm gonna use Sapling Tree add-on. So to enable it, click on Edit Preferences, head over to the add-ons, type Sapling or Tree in the search bar and click the checkbox to enable the Sapling Tree Generator. Also enable the auto tile size, we're gonna need it later on. Save the preferences. Now add a sapling tree by shift A, curve, sapling tree gen. This will add a tree into the scene. On the left side of the window, there are properties of the tree. You can customize these in any way you want. You can customize the branches, leaves and everything. We don't need the leaves right now, so we're gonna create them later. Make sure to customize it before clicking away. If you click away, you're gonna lose everything and won't be able to continue customizing it. Keep the number of branches minimal. When you're happy with the tree, you can click away. It's gonna be in the form of curve, so first convert it into the mesh. Hit the spacebar or F3, search for convert and apply the convert to mesh. Now in the edit mode, select the edge loops and mark its seam by pressing U on the keyboard. And then unwrap it, adjust the UVs a little bit and you are done for the trunk. Head over to the render settings, select the render engine as a cycles and device to the GPU if you have one. Lower the render samples to 100. Now in the layer properties, check the box for denoising data. Head over to the compositing and add a node denoise and connect the noisy image to the image normal to the normal albedo to albedo and connect the denoise output to the composite image input. Add a new plane for a single leaf and add a new material to it. Now head over to the shading window, add a new image node in the shader editor, open and add a single leaf image with a transparent background. Connect the color of the base color to the shader. In the render settings, change the render engine to EV. Then in the material properties, select the blend mode to alpha hashed. This setting will appear only if the EV is selected as a render engine. Now back to the render engine, change the engine back to the cycles. In the shader editor, connect the image alpha output to the alpha input of the principal BSDF shader. If you see this, this is the tip of the leaf repeated at the bottom. In the shader editor, just change it from repeat to the clip in the image node. Add another material for the trunk. I'm just gonna leave it with a solid color. Oh, that's, that's not what I want. Sorry, <laughs> a little bit better now. Add a new icosphere, add a new particle system to it. Select here, check advanced, change the image to volume. You can also keep it to whichever you want, faces or vertices. Open render section and select the render as to object. Now select the instance object as a leaf we created earlier. Turn off the show emitter in both render and viewport. Lower the number of particles to 100, add rotation and randomize it. Increase the scale a little bit and add a little scale randomness. Now place the icosphere over the one branch of the tree and duplicate it and place over the other branches. You can add one or two more around them but four spheres are fine for me. Feel free to sculpt it a little bit to customize the shape. Select all the icospheres and put it into a new collection to clean up the outliner. Select one of the icosphere and in the modify tab click convert on the particle system modifier. This will generate 100 objects for the leaf particles of the selected emitter. Now while pressing Ctrl or Command, click on any generated leaf in the outliner. This will convert the leaf to the active selection. To join the mesh together, you can press Ctrl J. But this will create a problem because the instances are still connected to the main leaf. So before that, delete the selected leaf's instance. To do that, go to the object, relation, make single user and select object and data. Another way of doing it is, go to the object data properties tab and click the number beside the geometry name. And now press Ctrl J to join them together. Repeat the same process for each remaining icosphere emitters. Remove the new leaves objects from the icosphere's collection, then disable the collection. Join the newly created leaves objects together. Select the leaves object. In the objects properties tab, rerun the UV layers to the single leaf UVs. Add two more UV layers, name them gradient UVs and main UVs. In the UV editor window, select the leaves and into the edit mode, select all faces. These are our default UVs for the single leaf texture. Select the gradient UVs in the UV maps layer. Change the view to front or back orthographic view. Hit U and go for the project from view. Scale the UVs in the UVs editor to fit the view. Now select the main UVs which are gonna be our final UVs. Select all faces and hit U. This time go for the smart UV project. 
This will spread every face on the UV map evenly spaced without overlapping. Now head over to the shading. In the shader editor, add two nodes, mapping and UV. Connect the vector output of the mapping to the vector input of the image and UV output to the vector input of the mapping node. Change the UV to single leaf UVs. Duplicate UV map and mapping node twice. Change the UVs to gradient UVs and other main UVs. Add a color ramp and mix RGB nodes. Connect the vector output of the mapping to the color ramp factor. Connect the image color output to mix RGB input and color ramp color to the color one of mix RGB node. Pick any of two or more colors you want the gradient in. Change the blending mode of mix RGB node to multiply. Adjust the color stops and gradient UVs according to your need. Now duplicate the leaf image, connect the single UVs mapping vector to the vector of the image. Add a new node bump, add another color ramp, adjust the color stops to sharpen the details. You can connect the color ramp color to the shader's color temporarily to visualize what you are changing. Connect the color to the height of bump and normal to the shader's normal. I added invert node to invert the bump effect. Duplicate the principal shader and add a new image node. Hit new to create new image, name it and set the height on grid to 4k. Uncheck the alpha, we don't need it. Connect the mapping vector of main UV to image vector. Before we bake, make sure the auto tile size is enabled in the preferences. In the render settings under the performance, hit the gear icon of auto tile size, set the custom tile size to 4k, the same as the image resolution we set. Under the bake, set the output margin to 8 pixels. Select the leaves object and select the image node and then hit bake. But still we forgot something. Into the world tab, increase the brightness of the color. Into the object tab, under UV map, make sure you have selected main UVs but keep the render on the single leaf UVs. Now hit bake again. Wait for it to be completed. When it's completed baking, if you preview it, this is how it will look like. Because we haven't created the transparency map yet. To bake an alpha map, add a mix shader node and put it in between main shader and output node. Connect the single leaf alpha to the other shader input of the mix shader. Add an emission node in between them. Duplicate or create another image node for alpha baking. Hit new to create new image, name it as alpha, set the resolution to 4k. Now make sure the alpha image node is selected and then hit bake. Wait until it's done. Save both images to the desired directory. Connect the alpha image color to the second shader's alpha and BSDF to surface. Now delete first to UVs and keep the main UVs. I rig the tree by adding and extruding bones in the flow of branches, then animate it as you need. You really need to learn some basic animation principles here. The one follow through and overlapping action will be the most important here. Select the geometry, then our measure, control or command P and go for the automatic weights. You will need to do some weight painting here. Select armature and then geometry and change the mode to weight paint mode. Select the add brush in the tools tab. Make sure the corresponding bone is selected and start painting. Make sure every vertex is at least painted in the light green color. This will be the lowest weight the vertex will have. Don't leave it blue. This will be the zero weight. You can subtract the weight by selecting subtract brush. Open Photoshop and import the baked diffuse texture. Now drag and drop the alpha texture map onto it. Select the black color by using magic wand selection tool. Then right click and select inverse. Now hide the alpha map layer. Click on the channels and click on the mask at the bottom right corner. This will create the new alpha channel using the selection. Save it as by Ctrl Shift S. Go to the desired path and change the file format to TIF. Hit save and OK. To import the tree model into the Unity, simply drag the blend file to the assets folder. Create a new material for leaves and trunk. Give the trunk basic brown color. Select the model in the inspector. Select material tab and drag and drop the trunk material into the trunk slot. Then hit apply. Import the TIF image to the assets folder. Select it. In the inspector, check the box alpha is transparency and hit apply. Select the material and drag the image texture into the albedo slot. Select rendering mode to cut out. At the emission, drag the same image, lower the intensity by 1 or 2 units. Select the tree model and drag the leaves material to the leaves material slot and hit apply. Drag the model into the scene, right click into the asset folder, create new animator controller. Double click to open it in the animator window. Drag the tree model into the animator. This will import the animation we created earlier. Select the tree model in the inspector in the animation tab, enable loop time and apply. Now select the tree object into the scene. In the inspector, hit add component, add animator and drag the animator onto it. And voila, we created the tree. I hope this video was helpful. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. As I mentioned earlier, this tree I made was one of the assets I made for my upcoming FPS game. I share these devlogs and major updates about my game on this channel. So please subscribe to stay updated with the future devlogs, some awesome tutorials and other fun videos. And I'm done. See you in the next one.